All right, here's Bree Gusick, a uh, master's student at uh, School of Forest Resources Environmental Science. She's going to talk a little bit about her project. So we are in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan at NH Seed. Uh, we are at some silviculture. There's 54 total plots. Each of them are different silviculture treatment. Uh, and we are out here trapping small mammals to study the diversity, different communities, what species are out here. And so today uh, I'm going to demonstrate, these are the small mammal traps we're using. I'm going to demonstrate how we're getting them, removing them from the traps, I should say, and what measurements we're taking for our study. Awesome. So, yeah. So what you want to do is put, put the trap in the bag. The end you want to, with the door you want to open. You push the door in, try not to hit the animal at all. And we're just gonna do a little toss like that to get them out. And he came out nicely without any bedding or anything. So this is a white-footed mouse, and it's actually a recapture. Got cool. his ear tag, we can see there. That's how we were um, marking our mice this summer. We're with permanent ear tags. So that's how we remove the animals from the traps. And then once we have them in the bag, what we do is take measurements. So we'll do a, a ear measurement, a full a body measurement, and then a tail measurement. We'll add those together for a total body measurement. And then also we do their right rear foot measurements. And that's what we're, those measurements help us to identify species if we're unsure or different life stages of the animals. And so, uh, what about okay. age and sex? Do you take that data as oh, well? Oh yes, we do, sorry. Once, mm -hmm. um, Sometimes while they're in the bag, we can look and try to age and sex the animal. If it's too difficult, we will remove them from the bag. And before tagging them, that's when we just, uh, determine their uh, age and sex that way. And then we ear tag them and release them. Well, if it's a mouse ear tag uh, with shrews and voles, we will shave those actually with different markings. Cool. And how many species do you think you've captured this season? Oh, we've captured 10 to 12 different species, I would say. Um, wow. White-footed mice and deer mice have been our top two that we've caught the most that we've caught. Oh, and also southern redback bulls. We've caught over a hundred of those um, and these mice close to 80 to 90 of each of those species as well. Nice. And then what's the most exotic or like rare animal do you think you've caught? Like that you've caught only like once or twice? Oh, um, well, a least chipmunk is actually the one we've caught only once, but the one that we think is really cool are the jumping mice, but we've caught, those, caught those quite often, but they're pretty neat. Um, a southern bog lemming, we've only caught one or two of those, I'd say. Awesome. And then we also catch the, we have the northern short tail shrew here. Uh, we've caught about probably 15 of those this summer, and they are a uh, venomous mammal in this area. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. And would you mind demonstrating how you get the small mammals out? Absolutely. So everyone has a little bit different way. The way I like to do it is I have a glove on the hand that I'm going to actually um, grab the animal with. But I usually put them against my leg. And we'll kind of put light pressure around their head so they can't turn around and bite me. So I'll keep my hand there. I'll go in with my other hand and scruff them right behind the ears. They have a lot of loose fur, so we have to scruff them pretty well. And we'll get them out. So this is a recap, so we'll take a look at the tag. Uh, she is a very pregnant oh, wow. female, yeah. <laughs> We've had a, quite a few of those today. And then we'll read the ear tag, which actually looks like it's one one, four, nine. She made that easy on me, but that's how we remove them and uh, look for parasites as well. Um, we are looking for ticks and collecting those too if we find them on, on the animals. So. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you.